Well, now, Lord, you can't zoom in on your video or you'll end it. So I got my trailer distribution box mounted to the frame. We're underneath the front of the trailer. That's the front of the trailer. There's the tongue. So a distribution box and a seven-way connector right there. We put electric brakes on this trailer. <clears throat> and uh, for a later date, we can put a, a new harness from distri distribution box back to the, the tail lights and all. But your, your connector for seven way has got white, black, yellow, red, green, brown, and blue. And they are not the same color code as most typical trailer wiring. So don't just go to throwing yellow to yellow and, and brown to brown and, and green to green because it ain't going to work. Take and, and uh, screenshot this or stop the video. See like up here top left. Black is your auxiliary 12 volt power and yellow would be your backup light but on your uh, uh, usually I will use uh, uh, what color do I use uh, I don't remember right offhand brown is your uh, right turn and stoplight signal on on the seven wire uh, connector pigtail but brown on your trailer harness connector that's brown yellow and green it kind of looks red there but it's actually brown that is your marker light tail light so so brown doesn't go to brown brown goes to green your running lights and red is your left turn signal and red would go to green or i'm sorry yellow yellow is left green is right green is right yellow is left and green is right on your trailer harness connector. Yellow is left and green is right. Yellow is left and green is right. But on your pigtail that's attached to that, green is your marker light and yellow is your backup light. So make sure that you don't just slam those wires together, yellow to yellow and green to green because you're going to have all kinds of crazy stuff going. And I will run an auxiliary wire off the ground and go straight to the frame right off my distribution block. Don't put your ground on your distribution block mount screw because this plastic eventually will... It, it's kind of compressed right now as the screw is a little bit tight. I ain't, it ain't torqued down to 40 foot-pounds. But it's good and snug. With that plastic, will start to uh, uh, corrode and and give way under the pressure and loosen up, and your ground can get loose. So I always put a separate screw to the frame, right to the ground wire, and then just run it right up to there. And then, of course, your your other wire that's hooked to the ground. Is going back in this uh, double uh, two wire uh, uh, harness there and that's for the brakes that's just for the brakes that goes back to here on the left side it's usually always on the left side where your power feed comes back for your electric brakes and that runs up all the way up there One wire goes to ground, and the other wire goes, your blue, 
it, they always use blue for your your uh, electric brake even on your your pigtail and and of course my wire in here is one is white and the other is black so I put the black on the blue and the white on the white and of course I used a black wire here uh, for ground but that was the best uh, heaviest duty wire I had for ground and I wanted to I wanted wire that was big enough so that if everything was applied with the brakes I would have a, a, a heavy duty enough ground circuit to carry the load anyway uh, I like doing it with the distribution block that way if your uh, brother-in-law comes and borrows your trailer and leaves your pigtail hanging loose and drags it wears it off or doesn't hook the trailer up and takes off and snatches the cord off you don't have to rewire the whole trailer you just get you a new cord and wire it right into the distribution box and away you go but anyway fellas Thanks for watching my videos, share, like, and subscribe.